Hi, I'm Liz Larson. And I'm Bill McKenna. We're the hosts of the New Life Perspectives radio show. We're also the creators of the Cogno Movement System, where we help you rewire your nervous system so you can rewire your reality. Join us each week for great conversations, amazing guests, and cutting edge information on health, consciousness, and the keys to transformation. Hi, this is Bill McKenna here on the UK Health Radio as we have our weekly show with you, New Life Perspectives. Uh, Liz Larson is uh, not with us today, and and I, I love the uh, the old thing from the Disney movies, uh, Bambi, your mother can't be with you. <laughs> Okay, hope you got a good laugh out of that. She will be back with us next week. And uh, today we have a really interesting, pertinent talk prepared for you. And that is uh, the things that are going on uh, from a macro to a micro level here on the planet Earth. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's been a lot of changes. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been a tremendous amount of chaos uh, on the planet. Whether you're talking about uh, geopolitical, whether you're talking about financial, what are you talking about upheavals within institutions uh, about secrets coming out, the truths being revealed. All these things, uh, interestingly enough, had been foretold a long time ago that uh, they knew this, uh, this time was coming. And um, not to sound like, you know, to uh, off in the weeds here as far as uh, uh, the conspiracy or whatever, because it's not. Uh, there's just a natural evolution going on on the planet. And this evolution is biological. It is electrical. It is also intertwined with our awareness, our understandings, our consciousness. So what do I mean by all that? Well, we have been going through a huge transition on the planet Earth, and the actual vibration of the Earth has changed significantly since 1987. We humans, living on the planet, we have different brainwave states. Uh, the alpha state is 7.8 hertz. That's how many cycles per second uh, that the frequency of your thoughts is operating at. Your brain wave is operating at. This is our natural state, our relaxed state. This is the state when you are driving and you entered into that relaxed state, or when you turn on the TV and you finally just relax, both of those will put you into this alpha brainwave state really quickly. Now, the, the, the significance of this is that this state causes us to be relaxed, like kind of like almost a light meditation. But what's happened in, since 1987 is that something called the Schumann Residence, it's been measured for a long time. And just like our brains, the earth has a vibration as well. That vibration, interestingly enough, for as long as it's been recorded, is also 7.8 hertz. Isn't that interesting? The earth vibrates at 7.8 hertz 
And when we're in that relaxed alpha brainwave state, we are in that 7.8 hertz. But what happened after 1987 is all of a sudden it started changing. The earth vibrated at 7.9, 7.10, 7.11, 7.12, 7.13. And then 8.5. And then it just kept going. And, and they were monitoring this and they were like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. It got up to 13. Well, in the past few years, the Schumann residence on the earth has completely gone off the charts. It is vibrating up, it going up into the hundreds and then down again. You know, it'll go up to 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, and then slam back down. This vibration is vacillating wildly. And all of us here on the planet Earth, us humans, we are literally on the Earth. We are affected by the vibration that's going on on the earth. Think about it. Everybody here drinks the water of the earth, eats the plants, eats the animals of the earth, eats everything, breathes the air on the earth. All of it here is being ingested. We're sleeping on the earth, everything. So of course, all of our vibrations are jumping up and down and up and down. So when this is happening, you might have noticed that in the past several years that people are acting all kinds of ways that are just like, what are you talking about? You know, things aren't making sense. People are getting extremely irritated or agitated. Everything is also changing very quickly. Creative ideas are coming out. The invention of all kinds of new technologies. Uh, not only that, but, but also a bunch of things like the secrets that were underlying a lot of the institutions that we know are being exposed. All of these things are, in fact, just a... a a, a ramification, if you will, of a move into a higher level of consciousness. It's not a straight line and it is messy, but, but this evolution that we're going through is a real thing. Now, one of the things that we should all be aware of that recently there, there are these extreme extraordinary solar waves. So these solar waves, um, there is a, a called a, an event called a solar maxim 25. It's what we're, as you're listening to this, it's what we're currently in. These are extraordinary high levels of solar activity. And with it, these, uh, these ejections that come out of the sun, are very, very high levels, and they are electrical. Now, all of us on the planet here, we're electrical beings. Your nervous system is, uh, its very definition, is the carrier of electrical charges. That's how the, the signal gets from your brain down to your foot. It's like sends a little electrical signal, move your toes move your arm, blink your eyes, all these different little things, you get these little electrical charges that are going on in your body. When we have these extraordinary events, these solar flares, it actually impacts us electrically. And with that, you can imagine that things are very... Um, excitable. Excitable, that would be a, a very good word to use. We'll become more reactionary. 
you might have noticed that people are more and more reactionary uh, in the news, uh, you know, just people that you run into on the street. Uh, it's really something that they they can't help. Uh, not only are the, the vibrations on the earth, but also these electrical charges that are hitting them. <clears throat> when we have a thought or feeling, uh, those are electrical charges. Your feeling in your body is your nervous system expressing something and you get a feeling. And then electrical charge into the brain, we think a thought equal to the feeling, and then we're gonna act that way. So, so this for the, the masses of humanity is a, a situation where they're simply just living in reaction. Just things happen and then I react to it. This is a state where you find yourself, because you're in reaction mode, that your um, life becomes extremely chaotic and volatile, much like the Schumann residence and much like the solar flares that are impacting the physical earth. But, you know, there is a way that you can begin to take control of it and manage your life manage your life, manage those feelings that you're having and rewire your brain, your nervous system, so that you're not in a reaction mode, you are in a, a, a mode of actively creating, actively creating the life that you want. Which leads, which leads me to a... Uh, an epiphany that I think if you're listening to this, you might really like. And that is for most of us in our lives, we navigate our lives. The situation that we're currently in, financial situation, relationship situation, a uh, living situation that dictates the state that we're in. So we let the situation dictate our state. Now, this, this type of thing is um, what I would call a level of consciousness or understanding that the majority of humanity is in. There is another step up on the ladder, and that is where you begin to flip the table. You let your state create the situation. Now, this has been known, this has been known for millennia, but it is something that's that is uh people say like uh you know you got to think better you got to think positive you got to you know do better you kind of like you know tony robbins go out and get it you know get uh massive action and and you know having a positive attitude this is absolutely uh true and works however it has uh, one little problem. And the little problem is that you can do this for a period of time until you begin to relax for a second and your subconscious or your nervous system comes into play and it gives you a feeling. And then you go back to your automatic reactions, the, the old way of doing things. So reminding yourself constantly is, uh, is possible, but it's really not very feasible. The other way to go is to rewire yourself for a new reality.
where your state is consistent without effort. And the reality that matches that will appear. Now, we're going to take our first break here for UK Health Radio, and we'll be right back with more. And now we're back. We had just talked about our state and our situation. What are we going to do? Are we going to let our situation determine our state? And what do I mean by our state? What I mean is how you're feeling. How are you feeling? Am I feeling like anxiety? Am I feeling depressed? Am I feeling anxious? Am I feeling fear and anger? These solar flares, the Schumann resonance vacillations, and combine those uh, with what's being projected by the media, typically we're going to find ourselves in fear and or anger or both. That's the predominant. And, and then there's also vast parts of the population that feel like just despair, despair. There's nothing that can be done. Apathy. They want to they wanna just be done with it all. Well, this is um, something that uh, is quite natural, especially in situations here where you're completely out of control. You're, you're constantly being uh, given a, a stream of, of mental food that you should be afraid of these diseases or these uh, financial situations that are upcoming or, or the uh, global unrest. So what can you do about it? What can you do to begin to change your vibration, to create a new state where you can trust where you're happy, where you see the good things in life, where relationships start working, where your prosperity begins to flow. One of the very first things is that you can change quite simply your vibration by beginning to take control of your brain and your nervous system. And one of the ways to do that is to recognize one of the things that is impacting your mental state. And that happens to be your telephone, your cell phone. How many of you look at your cell phone looking down? You have your cell phone and you want to check your texts. You want to check your uh, all the different things, and you and basically you hold it in one or two hands and you type. Your eyeballs are down. What's the significance of this? Well, the significance of this is that when your eyeballs are down, they connect with the feeling part of you, the kinesthetic, the body, and the feeling. So your eyeballs are down and you're connected with that part of the brain that easily can get into fear. So this simply having your, your, your hands down and typing and, and scrolling and all of those things puts you susceptible to these negative feelings. Have you ever noticed how people maybe misinterpret texts and that they maybe um, get the worst meaning out of it? It's because they are looking down. They're looking downwards and they're more susceptible to those negative feelings. So remember how we talked about the alpha state. 
the alpha state where you um, uh, have that natural, relaxed, positive outlook, it's very, very simple. And that is you can enter into that state when you put your eyeballs upwards, literally upwards. Now, this is this right here, this technique of putting your eyeballs upward, if you hold your eyes up, what's going to happen is within a very short period of time, you're going to enter into that alpha brainwave state, which is a natural state for you. It is also when your eyes are up like that, you will access the parts of your brain, your prefrontal cortex up here, your executive function, and it's going to be a part of your brain that you're going to disconnect from those negative emotions. One of the practical uses of this is what I call at um, times where you don't want to cry. You don't want to cry. You know, you're giving a talk at the, uh, at the funeral or a wedding, a wedding, you know, uh, those are times you, you're giving the talk, uh, the best man talk or whatever. Keep your head straight and level and look up. You will find that you're going to stop crying. You can get through it and, and get your message out without crying. If you look down and give that same talk, it's going to come out. So this is a, uh, a very significant um, small technique to begin to take control. But in order to fully master, master your state, where your state becomes independent, the external situation, you need to fully rewire your system. Um, that That is uh, available when you allow your particular emotion. Let's say uh, I'm an anxious person, or maybe I'm afraid, or maybe it's grief. I've been through some loss. And, and now, with so many of us, you know, we've been through so much loss in the past several years, whether it's loss of finances, whether it's loss of a loved one, whether it's loss of our health, whatever it means, whatever it means to you to grieve, that is something that you can actually process. So Cognito movement, this modality uh, that uh, Liz Larson and myself had developed, uh, that's what it does. You allow yourself to feel how you do. And what happens is through these very specific neurological movements, you end up processing it. That whatever you're feeling, whatever that struggle is, is a feeling in your body. And it's being expressed by your nervous system, which also kicks off all kinds of chemicals and that sort of thing. And when this processes in your nervous system, the feeling goes away. And once we don't feel a certain way, we don't think that way either. Um, we developed a program uh, several years ago. Uh, it was a, uh, now a five-day live event that is called Cognoconscious. And what we do is we go through 17 levels of basically emotional states. Shame, guilt, grief, humiliation, fear anger, resentments, distrust, all these different all these different experiences that we have as humans here on the on the planet. 
and we clear out the entire lifetime of that level, whatever that level is for you. For example, the the guilt, uh, going along with guilt, uh, the bedfellow of guilt is blame. So all the times you've been blamed, all the times you've blamed, all the guilt in your life, we allow you to feel it, and then we do the exercises. And with that, you end up no longer having the experience. The guilt is just gone. You remember the event. Sometimes the event is literally, we call it cognoamnesia where you literally can't even remember the event anymore. There's so many stories about that. But what happens once that, let's say, for example, the guilt is gone, all of a sudden you find that you stop blaming everybody else. And once you stop blaming them, your relationships improve. You have all of this energy, which you divert into a better life and you get along with everybody better. So how many times have you found somebody who you, you saw that was, you know, super successful? And when I say success, I mean the kind of success that is not just financial, but they have good relationships they seem happy they seem like they have the time to take care of their body and their body is operating correctly they have an absence of illness this this is available we have a we have a saying that in in uh the work we do and that is that our body will express for us the emotion that we cannot process and this, this is something that is available now. It's very hard to get to unless you kind of know how, know what to do. But once you experience it, even one time, and you find that you have eradicated that particular uh, feeling in your body and then you see the ramifications of it in your life. You're like hooked. So that event is um, pretty interesting in that it's five days long. And during those five days, you go level by level. The guilt and blame of a lifetime gone. The shame and humiliation of a lifetime. The embarrassment of a lifetime gone in when i say gone gone i mean gone gone you know you you're, you literally don't have it anymore you can't feel it can't feel it you know i uh, when we have those type of feelings you, you know we find ourselves really closed in and we also will find people judging us one of the weird things is is that when when these levels are cleared, all of a sudden, we find other people treating us differently. It's a it's a very interesting quantum phenomenon. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you, but um, you know, I, I get to tell you a story. I remember I had a I had a huge canker sore in my in my mouth, and it hurt so bad. This is you know many years ago, and it hurt so bad. I didn't say anything about it. And uh, at the time, you know, I was I was telling a story about something and a person reached over and grabbed my, you know, I'm saying blah, 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 the story. And they grabbed my lip and shook my lip right where the canker sore was. I was like, no one has ever done that to me before or since. But it was like a magnet. The, 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 the weird thing was, it was literally that pain was a magnet for that person's hand to pull my lip and shake it. Who, who does that? But this is the reality for all of us. All of us are there with somebody, you know, pulling our lip and shaking it, whether it is 
uh, our insecurity, our insecurity about, uh, you know, our looks, our finances, our, uh, our likability, you name it, we all have it. We're going to take another break and we're going to be right back uh, for our good friends at UK Health Radio. Take it away. All right. And we're back again. This this um, uh, topic uh, kind of circling back that the solar flares that we're experiencing, which are the electrical charges uh, that are massive coming on the planet at the moment, combined with the Schumann residents being uh, elevated and then dropped like radically, of course, of course, we are all here having a difficult time. And of course, the chaos is, is happening all around us. So we were talking about gaining control, gaining control and the upcoming cognoconscious event and what that does. So the cognoconscious event Clearing out the shame, the guilt, the grief, the blame, the fear, the anger of a lifetime. What I always say is, is that what do you think would happen if just one of those things was gone? If just one was gone, if I no longer had any fear in my life, it doesn't mean that you lose your discretion. It doesn't mean that you lose your ability to see reality. It's just that you don't have that fear thing going on. You just clearly know, well, there's cars coming. You know, I'm at the crosswalk. There's cars coming. Uh, okay, don't step off the crosswalk. We're going to let the cars pass, and then we're going to cross. That's your discernment. You're not, like, freaked out. Uh, this, this entire transformation process happens over five days. Uh, the event coming up is uh, in September, I believe 9th through the 13th. And tickets are available at Cogno Movement. That's C-O-G-N-O-M-O-V-E-M-E-N-T dot com. It's on the, uh, if you click on the events tab, you'll, you'll find that you can get your tickets there for this event. Uh, the thing that is really kind of uh, little known is that our electrical system, it, it downgrades with each and every uh, negative emotion. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that the voltage in our body is is lowered. Now we know from uh, Dr. Jerry Tennant. Dr. Jerry Tennant was a um, is still is. Uh, he runs the Tennant Institute. He was a Harvard trained physician, and he had figured out that your voltage equals your health. Voltage equals health. They, they, your cells they have a certain um, millivolts that they produce. I think something something like 30 millivolts is is when they'll reproduce but if you drop below it the cells the cells don't and uh, our health is impacted the interesting thing is is that we have measured people that for example have uh, some sort of situation like a re resentment a resentment if you will and the resentment, um, has pushed their energy down, the voltage in their body dramatically to the, the levels you can start to tell where uh, when you decrease it enough that you're going to have some physical problems. These, these physical problems will start off as I'm tired and then they'll progress to I'm sick and then they finally progress to if you don't pay attention they eventually turn into a serious illness. Have you ever noticed when you go through a difficult time, you get tired? So 
these are kind of the three the three stages and signs that you want to pay attention to. I'll tell a little story about uh, oh, a person that I'd worked with that um, she came she came uh, because she was very upset, uh, ready to divorce her husband. Her husband felt she felt that he was not um, supporting her, you know, not doing the dishes, not picking up the clothes, not doing the laundry, and all these, all these things that he was not participating in. And I took the, the BioWell reading, this is the device that will measure the voltage uh, that we're outputting. And it, the voltage was very, very low. Uh, like I said, it was at the point where there's going to be some physical issues if not, if this is not corrected. She was extremely resentful. M multiple children married for, you know, a decent amount of time uh, to the to the husband. And we ended up working uh, on just trying to uh, feel all of her resentments and process them so that she, she wouldn't be so angry as she went through the divorce process. As it turns out, as we processed each and every one of the fears and the anger and the resentment, something strange emerged. And that is a feeling of gratitude, appreciation, and love for this husband she had, the father of her children. She ended up seeing what he does provide. And when she started to notice what he does provide, she became aware that she had overvalued what he she provides and undervalued what he provides. What happened is that her bio well, the voltage in her in her body over doubled, literally doubled. The resentment was gone. And you can look at a resentment as a restriction in your voltage. It's like kinking a hose. You know, the hose has water coming through it and you kink the hose and the water stops flowing. That's how it is with us humans and our electrical system. So not only did her voltage over double, but she went home and I I didn't hear from her. I, I actually ended up seeing her on the street just months later. And I remember her like like waving at me across the street and, and, and crossing the street. And and I and I saw her kind of covering her mouth and laughing. And she was, and I said, Hey, how you doing? She goes, Oh my God, I gotta tell you. You know, I got home after. Uh, after the work that we did, and it completely changed. Everything changed. Her and her husband started going out on dates. They uh, they had what she says it's like being teenagers again, and that she wanted she wanted to be with her husband and she liked him. And the the thing that you know. Uh, just made me cry was she told me about one of her children that said, mommy, mommy, I like how our family is now. And that, that was a result of just the allowing of the processing. It certainly wasn't the, the avenue that she wanted to go down. 
all she wanted when we went in to do that work was I want to be uh i just don't want to be angry but i do want this get this divorce done as quickly and efficiently without having to suffer well there's really they say only two emotions there's love and fear and everything is a derivative of one or the other fear-based emotions guilt grief resentment all of these all of these fear-based emotions they tax our nervous system they deplete the voltage and love based uh, uh, emotions gratitude appreciation uh, uh, compassion love service joyful service that is those emotions take us not only into a better feeling, but our voltage increases and our health increases as well. These are very real things that happen. And for us, the simple, the simple method of allowing whatever it is and utilizing the techniques to process those negative emotions so that they're no longer felt. Uh, it's, it is kind of going from a life of efforting. Like, you know, uh, for a good portion of my life, I was extraordinarily resentful. So I really get people. I understand. I understand how it is. My, my understanding shifted, though, when, when the resentment, when that resentment is truly gone, where you don't feel it anymore, it's like forgiveness is easy. And, and, and it's not even like you're forgiving. You're like, eh, geez, I don't care. You know, doesn't, it's no, no skin off my back. You know, everything's fine. But it is extraordinarily difficult to forgive when you still feel that hurt feeling. And, and that is a, a feeling. The basics of this is that we cannot think greater than we feel. If I do say that I forgive you, but I still have this horrible feeling inside of me, it's just words. I just said words, which I did that before, by the way. I did that. I would say, oh, yeah, I forgive you. But, you know, inside of me, I was like, bap, bap. not not true. You know, uh, so so what happens here is that the feeling in the nervous system literally vanquishes, dissolves, evaporates. And and so our life can be so much better. Making the life of your dreams is fully possible. All you need is the right tools. Now, this event coming up in September, September 9th through the 13th, Cognoconscious, uh, this is not for everybody. It is if you are ready for a transformation and you're okay with the, having the hardest five days of your life to get it, come on down. It will change your life. It will elevate your life from a life of being in a state where your situation is dictating your state and flipping it to your state dictating your situation. Cognomovement.com. Hope to see you there. Thanks for being here with us on the New Life Perspective radio show. For more information or to find out more about the work that Bill and I do, please visit us at cognomovement.com or email us at info at cognomovement.com. See you again soon.